My name is Michael Garski. I am a hydraulic engineer with the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. We'll be doing an aerial tour of the west, the west fork of San Jacinto River Basin. And today we'll be looking at the morphology of the region. We have some experts from our engineering research center, Erdic, uh, in town today to, um, to help us analyze some of the challenge areas, the, the, problems, the problem spots and uh, to look at some base bank stabilization, some beneficial use sites for the dredge material, and to help this area flow better. Currently we're going over the west, the midday placement area. Um, we are visiting this just because it's one of our construction sites currently for the deepening and of the Houston Ship Channel. It's in the middle of the bay of Galveston Bay. And right now we're flying over the top of Houston Dam. Uh, it's what holds back the reservoir of uh, Lake Houston. This is its outfall structure. Uh, this is what uh, backs up the water and causes the water levels to be the, the height they are. Um, this is some of the damage that was done during Harvey inside of the lake itself. As you can see, there's fresh sediment placed on the, on the beaches. This right here is just upstream of West Lake Houston Parkway. Um, we're trying to look at some of the areas that we can beneficially use for placement and also um, make this area flow better. Um, this picture right here, as we go farther downstream, is the area that we were looking for uh, releasing a little bit of flow. Um, it's one of our problem areas because it's closer to residential housing. Um, it's one of the areas that we would expect to have some difficulties in. This right here is over the top of West Lake Houston Parkway. We're trying to dredge out this area. This right here is one of our placement areas. This is some of the dredge, this is some of the sediment that is built up during Hurricane Harvey. As you can see here, this is one of the areas that used to be land and was blown out during Harvey. Um, we would look to reroute the channel here. Um, this is where we're trying to put our center line and also dredge out that area. As you can see here, this is some shoaling that, that occurred during Harvey. This would cause some residential flooding in this area back here. Um, this is also where we're going to be placing the dredge and, and starting our dredge area. This right here is the center line that we're going along um, and trying to dredge this area out and bring it back to what it was pre-Harvey. Um, as you can see, this is a very distressed area for um, the river formations. The trees are starting to fall into the river. The, uh, there's fresh banks on side to side, um, which could cause potential flooding. And also, this area needs to have its main flow rerouted such that it holds its channel better. This right here is West Lake Houston Parkway. As we fly over the top of it, again, we are going to be trying to look inside of this area and region. Um, we also saw a dredge on the, on the east fork that uh, is not, not USACE's dredge, but we will look into trying to bring something similar to this to do our dredge project. And this is just an overview of the area and the region that we're looking at. That's West Lake Houston Parkway in the background with uh, the very end of Section A that we're going over. And uh, this would be the very end of the product, project before you get into Lake Houston.